going to be a little bit of a controversial video today because a lot of people didn't like these and uh, I like them a little bit. So we'll see. All right, guys, you already know how this works. We're going to be reviewing the Luca 3s, which is a $130 shoe from Nike, starting with what I like the most in the shoe and working our way down into what I like the least about the shoe. Let's just get right into it. All right, so my favorite part of the Luca 3s is definitely going to be the fact that the shoe feels like a Luca shoe. There's a lot of consistency in this line. I think if you like the Luca 1s or the Luca 2s, you will very likely like the Luca 3s. This is kind of notable because a lot of Nike's other shoes have really had identity crises. I mean, the LeBrons changed a little bit ago. The Zoom Freak models change a lot, but luckily Luca's line has stayed consistent. So I'm just going to say it's a very good thing for me as a Luca line fan. This shoe feels like a Luca. Favorite part of the shoe right there. My next favorite part of the shoe is definitely going to be the fit. Now, notably, the Luca 2s ran extremely long. This is no longer an issue. I personally would say that pretty much everyone should just go true to size. Also, this shoe is wide footer approved. I have extremely wide feet in the toe box and I had no issues going true to size in these. The shoe didn't run long or short. It was pretty much a perfect fit for me. Also, I will say the shoe does expand ever so slightly. So if you are a wide footer, I would actually recommend just going true to size and the shoe will eventually over time stretch out. Also, if you have skinny feet and are concerned about the shoe being too wide for you, the lacing system is extremely good here. I'm going to actually bring the lacing system and lockdown into this fit section. Essentially, I had no heel slippage in this shoe. There's a huge internal heel counter in the back and the lockdown system is internal with a really, really thick padded tongue. This tongue allows you to crank the laces in combination with that internal lacing unit. And also the shoe overall is very plush. So in regards to fit, kind of bringing it back to fit, I think that this is very safe for all types of feet, whether you're a wide footer, whether your feet are extremely skinny. I think that there's a lot of versatility in fit here. And I wanted to just kind of express how much better the fit is in these, especially compared to the Luca 2s, which every single reviewer said ran too long in the past. So I got to give Nike props for fixing that issue and that's why fit is my second most favorite part of the shoe. All right so moving into my third most favorite part of the shoe it's going to be the stability safety and lockdown of the shoe. I know I talked about lockdown a little bit earlier but in regards to stability this shoe is very flat and has a wide base. I did not feel like I was going to ever roll my ankle in these despite having broke my ankle a few months ago. Additionally as a larger player this shoe is very safe to play in as it doesn't buckle when I do step backs or make sharp turns. A lot of Nike shoes recently have just not been able to put up with, I guess, the force I'm generating or the weight that I am because when I played in a lot of Nike shoes when I was 220 pounds, I'm down to 190 now. Good for me. The shoes buckled. These did not do that. So if you're a larger player, if you want to put on a shoe that you don't have to worry about your safety in that has pretty much protecting you on all fields on the court, this is a very great option. This shoe is a little bit high off the ground, and I don't think this is a great shoe for someone who wants that really flexible, low to the ground feel. But overall, for me, I really like the style of the stability. I mean, there is a really good outrigger on these that works. There is a strong plastic counter on the outside as well, and you do feel those. They are not super comfortable or uncomfortable. You feel them there. It's not really too irritating. I did notice when I wore these shoes for four or five hours that I did start to feel kind of the more plastic parts of the shoe, but overall, if you need to play really hard in these games, if you need to go at 100% and you're worried about getting injured, these are a safe pair of shoes, especially for larger players. All right, so moving into the parts of the shoe that I didn't really like as much, it's definitely going to be the cushioning. Now, the cushioning isn't absolutely terrible, and although the cushioning does feel a little bit of that Luca, like dead, not so bouncy, kind of like a cardboard feel, I like that. My issue comes from the fact that the cushion used here doesn't have the same springboard effect that I got in the Luca 2s, which I really liked. So essentially, the cushion over time becomes more and more flexible. The cushioning isn't what most people would like as is being so dead and kind of being purely for impact protection. And I know a lot of reviewers said that it feels bouncy. It's just like for me, the Luca 2s felt bouncy to me. I could rock in those shoes. They felt like this really good mix of stiff and responsive. That's just lacking from this shoe. The shoe just feels kind of dead to me. 
and it feels like a really worn out version of the Luca 2s. Again, there's a lot of step in comfort. There's a lot of plush materials used, but the cushioning for me just felt a little bit like a letdown. I would give these like a 7 out of 10 or like a C plus at best, whereas the Luca 2s, I would give a B plus um, just because of the style. I like that style. So again, yeah, that's just the first step down. And let's kind of get into the next uh, step down. All right, so moving into the next part of the shoe that I didn't like or that felt like a big step down is definitely going to be the materials and durability. Now, just to make my own opinions known, a lot of people have said the greatest weakness of the shoe is the materials and durability, and I kind of disagree. I actually like the change in direction from those classic materials from the Luca 2, but the classic materials from the Luca 2 were just of such higher quality much more durable this does feel like a step down but the shoe is a lot more comfortable the uppers are a lot more flexible which does allow people to wear it despite having very different foot shapes or maybe width in their feet and the tongue is really really good it's extremely padded so is the luca 2s though and the lacing system works well it's just like the materials are just in a weird space if you never saw the luca 2s i think you would think the materials are just fine here but when you compare it to the Luca 2, it's just abundantly clear that this is a step down in almost every way. I don't know. I'm not really thinking that the Luca 3s are terrible here. I'm going to give the materials and durability something close to like a C minus, like a 7 out of 10. But yeah, it's just kind of disappointing that for $130, this shoe, it got more flexible as time went on. The uppers are not going to last. And the shoe was just not very breathable. When I played on these outdoors, my feet felt like they were in a sauna. When I played in them indoors, I was still sweating profusely from them. So overall, I would have loved to see the shoe be a little bit stiffer, a little bit more durable, and a little bit uh, completely in a different direction than Luka 2s. But again, I think if you didn't see the Luka 2s, you would think that these are just fine. All right, now we're moving into the last part of the shoe, which I really did not like in this shoe. This was the biggest issue, and that was the traction. Now, when the traction works on these, it's extremely good. As you guys can see, there's a mix of um, translucent and regular rubber. I could go into what this traction pattern is. I think people are calling it radial. You can see it on the screen. There's some nice grooves here. It's actually, in my opinion, durable. I know a lot of people have complained that this traction won't be durable. For me, it's been durable. It's just extremely inconsistent. So what I was saying before is the traction when it works, really, really good. But literally, this shoe collects so much dust that from play to play, like offensive to defensive possession, I have to wipe this shoe like crazy. And it just does not respond well to wiping with your hand. Like I literally take these home and then wash them, like run water on them. And I would run water through a water fountain on my hand and like wipe these down between every game because I would just be doing a step back crazy bite really good and then the next play slide out from dust like slide out slide out not like oh my foot slipped but I would pretty much crash so the traction is just very inconsistent and the traction pattern does collect a lot of dust especially on the translucent parts of the shoe which is not something I experienced in the previous models maybe the Luca one had a little bit more of a dust collection problem but yeah the traction is just very let me down a lot all right so what are my overall thoughts on the Luca threes well for my overall ranking, I'm going to give these an 80 out of 100. I personally like a lot of the elements of this shoe. I think that a B minus is fair in this situation. But for most people or for kind of what the public would think, I think it's going to be closer to a C plus, maybe even a C like a 77, 76, maybe a 78 for most people. I think if you're a larger guard or a larger player in general and you value stability or if you have really wide feet, this is a good option. If you want something you can play extremely fast in, something that allows you to be very nimble or something closer to a running shoe, just skip these. It is a little bit disappointing to see some of my favorite elements of the Luka 2 just absent here. I really like the materials on the Luka 2. I also really like the springboard effect that helped me when I was doing step backs and just made the shoe feel really bouncy in the past. It's just not here. This just feels like a more tame or deader version of the Luka 2. But because the fit on these shoes is so much better for my feet, I do find myself playing in these a lot. So there is something that I like in these shoes. I keep finding myself playing in these. But overall, if you're on a tight budget, if you can only get one shoe for the basketball season, I would just say skip these unless they're on a really big discount. So overall, yeah, I'm going to give these just a B minus with an 80. A little bit disappointing here, but hopefully Nike can kind of shake things up for the Luca 4. Thank you guys for trusting me with your basketball shoe reviews, and I'll see you in the next one.